Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. Let's continue in uh, Asmacalis, the raid. 47 minutes left. You know, I'm not gonna have time to uh, tempt the queen this week. It's fairly busy this weekend. All right. Now with Luna this time, uh, I didn't record it when I was uh, fighting Julie with Council before, but it was similar team. It's just I had Kisa instead of uh, instead of Luna, and uh, I do have my Angelica on Held Boots. It is for Wyvern, eleven. She can do it just fine. It's easier if she has. Uh, more speed, of course. This might be a bit too loud. Just the music and the raid is uh, louder than pretty much the rest of the game's music. Just gonna auto up until uh, the council turn up skills before so I can, uh, well, save my cooldowns. And of course, build up souls until I get there. But really, boss battle is... You just have to control the poison effects that she uh, applies. Well, actually, she, it's not a she, it's... I, I'm not even sure. It's a it. And yeah, let me check the drops real quick. It does pause the gameplay. No, it doesn't. So yeah, this could potentially be good. But now that we get accessories from the hunts, it's not that huge of a deal. Of course, this is always very good. And yeah, unity set. It's just attack set. We'll see. For the raid, I just keep the skills of Bellona on. Oh yeah, I do have uh, Wondrous Potion Vial for DN. This is actually really helpful for, for Executioner Carcanus and Julie Council. Well, any any content that just if you get thrown a bunch of debuffs. It will be very useful. Now I have the shield from uh, the debuff immunity shield from Angelica. I'm gonna save up my souls and then I can just soul burn it and it's gonna last four turns. Then I've got DN with the barrier. Takes one debuff out of each of my team members. I mean, this is not a video, like, it's not a guide. It's just me with this team composition it's it's spotlighting luna and spotlighting bellona with bloodstone i mean i know a lot of you probably don't have the in i mean it's it's more like a bunch of you have the in but might not have angelica i uh, there was a there was a a point where I just stopped using the end so I could make videos uh, different group compositions without her but now it's uh, it's Angelica like not everyone's gonna have her of course I mean I don't have Kyrus 3 star I'm not gonna camp just yet I mean, I could just start clearing toward the queen, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time. I could just like make another video right after this one and uh, attempt the queen. I want to go with the strategy of killing all the ads. I did attempt her before, like very shortly, 
I kill the the as that when you damage them it deals damage to the queen but then she summons two counter attacking uh, hero and every time you uh, you attack the queen those counter attacking ads uh, like attack you yeah but that, that's what it was yeah but the safer approach is just to kill everything all the ads and then leave the queen for last or you just burst her down at 50% health you just burst her down uh, leave the counter-attacking uh, mobs, but you you need to set that up. You need to like you could use Clurry. You could use. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's easier with Clurry. Uh, with Aureus and uh, fly the fans down, and then you just burst the queen from 50 to zero, pretty much, or like something like that. Could use Luna. You could use Sid. I mean, Challenger, Domino. There's, there's so many heroes that have uh, super high burst damage. Now, the, this this could be one of the last battles. There has to be one more, I believe. So yeah, this fight. I mean. If you do have debuff immunity, it is very easy, if you, especially if you soul burn. But the, the boss can remove buffs. From, from what I remember. Poison two turns. Gains attack and speed. Gets an extra attack, so like there's that po applies poison again, and that poison spreads. Yeah, dispel all buffs, extend duration of debuffs. Super annoying. Then then poison enemy, poison another enemy for two turns, at the start of each turn. Effect does not occur uh, while splitting. Then the uh, Jolie Council splits into three. If you kill the right one. Uh, uh, the council, the, the the main one comes back, and you can restart dealing damage to it. It, it was good with Kise. I could use her skill too to just uh, do area damage. Now oh, there is uh, another one. I will camp before. Oh, I did mess up my camping, I believe, last time. Hmm. It's like... Happy... I wrote it down somewhere. Happy memory and sad memory. Yeah. Luna, sad memory, and Bellona, happy memory. I wonder if I did it that way or I did uh, the... Sad memory with the uh, DN, because that doesn't give as much morale. That that one just gives 25, which is nothing. Oh wait, no, that that's not even correct. I didn't even do the simulator. I I didn't even do the simulation. I didn't even do it with this group composition. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. That's the thing, heroic cheer is better all right well if i do it that way i'm uh, not here actually com comforting uh, com comforting cheer is actually quite good normally and then the in ha oh it's happy memory that she has but happy memory is gives 10 on the other com you know what i'll just go and do sad memory hopefully there's good interaction Ah, uh, Angelica is not liking it so much. 11 increase. Alright, this only gave 10 before. So it went from 15. Oh my god, this is bad. Got 18 that way. Instead of the 25 with Tarnar Guard. Tarnar Guard, he. It gives a lot of morale. I didn't check how much health they have. Okay, that's fine.
resistance. There's the first, and then it, it got cleared. It's that easy when you have Wondrous Potion, but I mean, it's not a 100% chance, but it's definitely helpful. Definitely. Now, she will actually. Uh, that's the thing though, uh, this boss. It splits at 40 and 70. Uh, I don't really have time to go through mechanics, but when you do uh, land a debuff, it turns into a buff. That's super annoying. There it is. If the caster is attacked while debuff, grant random buff for grants random buff. One buff. Random buffs. No, it's it's plural. Maximum of three uh, three buffs. Anyways, uh, yeah, I have to attack with this thing. It's fine. Uh, trigger a dual attack. It doesn't mean it will be applied, but most likely. Oh, you got resisted. It's fine then. So I'm just gonna go with just skill one. Uh, yeah, I have the Dream Joker as well, so just pop that. It's, it's really like very easy. I don't even need to use a barrier. I cannot do anything. I know it's just normal mode. How much? 9.2k. 9 That's without defense break. I mean, Luna just did more. Because Julie Council doesn't have that much health. Uh, 157,000, it's quite a bit actually. It did dispel a, uh, a buff. Now it's time to... It's time to use this thing. They all have the same amount of health, so you can't just deal area damage and be like, alright, I'm, I'm just gonna like take down this one. Because it that that looks to be the the main one. No, they have the same amount of health. Already have defense down. How many souls? Yeah, it's only ten. Just work on the front one, whatever. Wow. <clears throat> well, <laughs> it was the front one. Just a lucky guess. I'm gonna have to deal with the the poison in a second, and it will get a buff maybe. Yep. Speed. I mean, it can be very easily controlled. Those uh, poison effects. Oh, Wondrous potion vial once again. quite need to heal here it's just a safe team I mean if you do have a team like that you know like I'm taking out the poison again here flying barrier you could definitely I did this uh, wait did I you could do this with just Angelica and you put like you get her on speed and also I would, uh, if you do have Wondrous Potion Vial, I would put it on her. The thing is, if you have Prophet Candlestick, I will not do it here. I could have used Arky actually. That's a lot of damage that they're doing. No one just use Arky. There's damage over time, just damage that gets done to you. Oh yeah, the poison will spread here as well. That's why you have to deal with this as fast as possible. I, I will do it, I will do it. Because I, I have other methods to just take the poison off. Just. This was bad. This wasn't a good idea, actually. 
because yeah you get your buffs removed and I, I got lucky again or what do you just kill one where is it where is that thing Deal damage to all enemy pro proportional to the max health of the target and dispel one buff from all enemy every time the enemy begins a turn. If the core monster is not killed when reappearing after splitting, reappear with 70 or 40% health they had before splitting. So maybe I just got lucky. Uh, I had to kill the core, which which I did. It was the front one on both, in both times. So yeah, definitely uh, not, don't go for the soul burn on Angelica's. It's uh, it's not worth it. It just gets stripped off because every time one of them goes, it takes one of your buffs uh, away. And it, they apply poison, but it's not... I could have just burned it it doesn't matter if the boss gets a buff really i think it's that's the thing because you can, it can only have three buffs and to be honest <clears throat> the biggest source of damage i believe is uh it's from uh, just the poison in general you don't you don't you just control that poison don't let it stack too much it's like, yeah, the boss not hitting for much. Do I even need to burn that? Probably not. It's like, not even 15,000. Oh, well, yeah. Alright, so, just jump back here. Go north. And start clearing. Turn on skills. Yeah, there's, I don't know, there's like 30 minutes now. The more I clear, the more morale I'll have. And if I can... The battle is too long. I'm not going to have time to do it. I mean, this group composition has uh, three sources of healing. Angelica, Dien, and Bellona with Bloodstone, and Luna is on lifesteal, so... Definitely the most dangerous part is during the add phase. So, if you have a good amount of area damage, that's actually quite good. I should have just used area damage with... <laughs> I mean, also focusing one down as fast as possible is, is good because that, that's one less that you have to deal with and it could potentially be the one that is the core. But if you have high area damage, like Kise's skill 2 that penetrates 60% uh, defense, or is it 70? It's 60, I believe. Yeah. And you have her in stealth and then you pop that thing to penetrate defense and deals quite a bit of damage and you can use the guardian save up your souls uh, in Bellona she uh, if you do have her you know, skill 3 skill 2 uh, 5 focus automatically uh, does skill uh, 3 and then uh, yeah a chance to apply defense down which increase your damage output by approximately uh, I mean uh, pretty much doubles your damage output against the target Lowers the defense by 70%. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that I got confused. Kisa's skill 2 penetrates 60% defense, and defense break is 70% uh, defense reduction. The game seems to be laggy a bit. My Bellona is not on a high attack. She doesn't even have 2,000 uh, attack.
if I just go, I'm just gonna go straight. When you reach the end, you go left, there's an elite boss, and you go right, there's an elite boss. Not sure which one is the easiest one, but yeah, I'll just go left. No, I'll try to uh, just need to buy my uh, my labyrinth uh, token from the guild shop, and then I'll head back in there, make a video fighting the queen. I'll just go in there with with this team comp. But I I don't think I have much time to to uh, to do it. Thing is, if it reaches, like if, yeah, if the raid closes, I think it gives you a message and then it just kicks you out and it doesn't consume your uh, your entry, your labyrinth entry. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's labyrinth. It's not a token. It's not a coin. It's just labyrinth ticket, I think. Yeah, I'll, I can just attempt her until it closes. The thing is, the battle takes quite a bit of time. So, like, I could just have uh, two of the eggs. Yeah, it's there are two eggs that you, when you're attacking them, it deals damage to the queen. And then they pretty much both are... Like, she's at 50% health when both of those are uh, dead. And then... And then there's two other ads that get uh, taken uh, taken out, and uh, there's two counter-attacking ads that show up. And whenever you attack the queen, the O's will attack you. Like so, it's it's two ads attacking you, uh, attacking the hero that attacked the queen every time. So it like that's why it's very uh, dangerous if you just go for the queen. But you could, if you do have high burst damage, you could just take her out from 50 to 0 maybe in one or, or, or two turns and when it's your support that are attacking you can just uh, just work on attacking those counter attacking monster instead and if you use clurry to just uh, defense break the queen it's not it doesn't deal damage so they will not counter attack you so you apply defense down and then you Hopefully, uh, it's the turn for your uh, big damage dealer, or you're doing your attack buff, whatever you need to do. It's like these ads, counter attack, uh, uh, rock is flying through, but it's whenever you attack the queen that they counter attack. It's very annoying. Nice, uh, nice stun there. But to be honest, like my Angelica is too slow. She she's on uh, health boots, and she should have more speed for the queen to sustain the group. But I do have Bellona on Bloodstone to help with sustaining the group. So we'll see what happens. Time is passing by very quickly. We'll see. I'm at minus 21, so after this battle, I'm at uh, minus 28, and that's it. Like, you reach minus uh, 30 and 31, and you're pretty much done. Definitely want to stop before that. What's unfortunate is that, yes. Well, to be honest, you don't really need souls going in the fight. You can just build up your souls and have your souls for when the queen reaches 50%, that's when you really need them, really need the, the souls. And also I believe you can just work on attacking those adds just to build up souls slowly and then you just go for the burst on the queen. That's one strategy or you kill all the adds and then you, you go for the queen which makes things so much easier and safer, it just takes longer. And I don't think I don't have time for that but... Thing is with Luna I could burst her down. If I go like... Luna Soulburn S3 and uh, Bellona S1. The queen has a lot of health, so it could it could work. We'll see, depending on how much time I have left. 
if I can, uh, oh, like which strategy I'm gonna go for. All right, that's it. Teleport here. Bounce. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other uh, video. This should be showing up on the screen now. I cannot show my gear in this video. I don't have time. Uh, you can check the previous one. Uh, it's going to be showing up on the screen now anyways. All right. Peace out for now.